What is up, guys? My name is Dick3987899. Here with a new tutorial <coughs> on how to make your own software. How to make your own button with Visual Basic or whatever. How to make your own software. Part 1. So, once you open it, um, you just go to a new project. Which is pretty slow because it has to be built in and whatnot. So, the name right here is um, Windows Application 1. You can name it whatever you want. But for now, I'm gonna name it um test. So hit OK now. And um <coughs> it should open in a minute because it has to go all, all that software stuff. Alright. It should respawn and then we should go like this. So once you have this, you want to make the size of your program, the how big you want your program to be. You can make it however big you want. And um, so yeah, um, let's get started before I forget everything. So first of all, we're gonna get a button. The first thing I'm gonna teach you on this tutorial is how to make the button work. So yeah, um. The button does not agree with me what I want it to be. So I'm just gonna put um hey. And that's basically what the text is gonna say here. So let me just There you go, let's do it again. I don't care. <coughs> so when we once we have that we wanna do Bug, see if my debugging thing works. Yes, it worked. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is it, and there's your file right here. Now you press hey, it doesn't work. You can see how it's pressing, but it doesn't work. Now why doesn't it work? We're, we're about to find that sweetheart. <laughs> so you want to double click on your button. You can see for one dot vb and it opens another one where so much of these this is where the complicated uncomplicated stuff is and what you want to do to make it say something message box so once that that says that parentheses and this one is pop out when someone clicks it so I'm gonna put um hello YouTube right. so then debug it <coughs> now nah. we click and things should pump out test hello YouTube now that's simple that's so simple I don't even know how why that should be hard but yeah so once that's done um, what I'm gonna enter is a uh, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get the use to menu strip, which is where it says file, everything like that. So you want to click here on this line and you insert standard items. Okay, so as you can see here, yeah, that's this pretty cool stuff. We're gonna delete, um, print, and save, and there, and we're gonna. Delete a oh. hope. So we're where's this exit? Double click. Oh, oh. God damn it. Alright, so there's um another thing just this is three exit exit. Debug it. Debug it. Oh no, um, hold on, that means something, that usually means something's wrong. <coughs> well, we're, we're gonna type in, um, delete this, I don't want that much. Um, look for a text box, this is a rich text box, this is a normal text box, and then right here. And, um, well, we can type in here on the text and say, Subscribe. Question. Question. Uh, 
on that one. And um, yeah, that's there now. <laughs> and um, pretty small. So yeah, um, if we have that, we're gonna open to a form one, and we're just gonna. Where's this here? Um, you just wanna take that to about ninety. Um, and um, icon, you just draw icon, and um. Background. I'm gonna change it to a black. There. This one to a my room, my room, my room, my room, my room, my room, my This one black color. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do 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 do. Alright, so we'll, that's gonna be our form now. So. The bug it. You can see it's kind of transparency because where it's just all capacity. Um, and it turns to ninety. That's what that's what it makes it. it makes it see kind of see through, which makes it with more Windows seven. So if you had um, let's say Windows XP, and you really wanted uh something like. Like Windows 7. Well, I'm gonna make you feel proud of yourself because you have Windows 7. You know, just use it. So now I turn it to 50, which is more transparency, and which is kind of crazy because you can really see it. But yeah, see how it works there, and everything works all good. So thanks for watching this first tutorial. This is part one. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out to subscribe, and hope you stay tuned to the next part.